girlies welcome back to my channel if you're new hello there my name is Sierra Robles and welcome to my channel so for today I'm gonna be doing a review for Beauty Secrets Odorless Acrylic Kit and let me just tell you girls right now mm, I am not happy with this kit I am not happy with this kit my nails had yellowed over time and I got irritated because I went back to go do a second set to see if I can get the set to come out any better and I took off the nail polish I had on and my nails were even yellower after three days of having them on since the first day that I had put them on and look at this you guys see this you see this primer versus this dehydrator you see how big this dehydrator is all right look compared to my models one my model one's primer and dehydrator check it out see this you see that that is a small bottle of primer okay I'm gonna tell you girls right now I paid $32.99 at my local Sally's beauty supply and <laughs> look at these tips look at these tips they're curved I couldn't do really much with them so I did short nails I got a new dappin dish and the white I also wanted to mention the white wasn't really a pig but you girlies can just check it out let's just go ahead and get on into this video I'll see you girlies at the end <laughs>
uh, you really see right here my nails are white in the video but if you look closely you can see how they're a little bit tinted yellow all right this was the first set I didn't even show the first set because I didn't even like it, it didn't come out that good at all so I went ahead and changed the shape I went back three days later to go ahead and change the shape and they were completely yellow look look at my nails look at that do you guys see that and you guys can you tell that the white isn't that white at all it was not opaque as I would like it to be like Mia Secret if you guys can tell on my right hand I'm using Mia Secret's white for my nail bed and three of my other fingers so yeah I definitely recommend Mia Secret over this but the <clears throat> the thing is the odorless monomer is odorless but it does not contain that purple dye that whitens it so that's probably why my nails are so yellow now because it is pretty see-through if you've really seen when I did it in the beginning when I was doing the application now I'm just trying something different trying to use a stamper to stamp these on and my nail beds are too wide for all my nail beds all of these are too small for them so I tried to improvise
All right, girlies, these are my nails. I hope you girlies did enjoy this video. Let me know what you girlies think down in the comments below. Also, my cuticle oil is still in stock. If you girlies would like to go check it out, I got shimmer and I got the regular cuticle oils. So I will leave my link down in the description below. I do not recommend this kit. I do not recommend it at all, especially because I paid $32.99 for that small kit. Oh, you guys, I am... I'm just mad. I'm just mad. Well, I hope you girlies did enjoy this video. The nails are cute after two attempts and they're still yellow underneath. So I wonder what the clear would look like if I use clear like me a secret clear with that monomer. I tried to use I, I can't use monomer that stinks. It's just too much. It's just too loud. So I get odorless monomer and well, you know what? The only good things that came out of this are these two, the primer and the dehydrator. I mean the forms, yeah, I can use the forms, but the forms aren't that sticky. I got the nail glue, yeah, I'm not probably not going to use the tips anymore, but it's up to you guys if you guys want to go check this kit out. <laughs> I don't recommend it. So I'll see you girlies in my next one I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'll be uploading a collab for Honeybee Nails, and I hope you girlies did enjoy. See you later. Bye.